I'm Ruchi Mukherjee for TV Asia here at the Indica restaurant in Houston where a reception has been hosted to celebrate plans for the Museum of Fine Arts, Houston's Art of India Gallery. Let's now talk to some of the people and see what they got to say. opening a gallery for India. Uh, do you know something about it? It's uh, been in the works for a while. Uh, they've had another uh, gathering like this to raise some money about, um, oh, I'd say uh, maybe eight, nine months ago. And right now they're talking about pieces of art that they want to bring in and the eventually they'll be they'll be putting together the, uh, the hall in which they're going to display this. It's such a lovely event because, you know, the people here in town really Really need, needs to be aware of the Indian gallery and uh, we are so proud that so many Indians have come out today and uh, I hope they'll all support the new gallery it's one of its kind in this region and um, uh, it's going to be for our future generation I mean we are not just building it for ourselves but for the next generation so that they can be proud of the Indian heritage Christine you're going to be uh, talking a little about uh, the reason why we are here today Yes, I'm the curator of Asian art at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston. And this evening is to really bring the Indian community to get to know about the Arts of India Gallery, which is opening May 15, 2009, so soon. I hope they've decided uh, what kind of pieces you all want to put there. Uh, can you throw some light on that? Well, we have a collection at the museum. So we have a Gupta sculpture, Sarsvati. We have a Chola bronze sculpture, a Shiva and a Parvati. And we have Indian painting. Uh, from probably 16th century to 18th century and also one of the things that we're doing that's a new thing for a museum is to combine contemporary art from India with ancient art so it's very exciting. For our designer it was really important for him to get the scale and the material this is a limestone here with the students and inside the little niches here are 7th century uh, paintings and here you can see Again, uh, portrait, portrait of Shiva. The scale is really different to actually be in a temple because usually in, in the museum you just see the sculpture out of context. So for a designer, it's important for him to see the context of many of the sculpture. And then in uh, uh, Chennai, we went to a, a temple and we were very lucky that they were having a festival. So again, for me and for a designer, seeing how uh, these uh, deities are uh, in the festival. And then here inside, more interior space. We were very lucky. We were with the curator, so we were able to get inside. Because usually foreigners are not allowed inside the interior of the temple. And then here, these are Shiva lingams all around, about 100 feet. And then we uh, peeked into this one um, niche where you are able to see how uh, the Shivas are worshipped. And then here we went down south, and just going back, this is how you see how temples, stone temples are built from top down. And these are big boulders that are carved from top down. And you can see how the interior, and when you come up to these sculptures, they're soft, and you can't imagine that they're made out of stone. <laughs> and here, this is a great wall, you can just see the craftsmanship at this period, this is already late, 7th century. But, uh, and then here a little bit, uh, maybe a few minutes drive, this is on the coast already, Bay of Bengal. And this is another Shiva temple that, that used to be underwater. And then just wanted to show you an image of our trip. Uh, I wanted to say that I've been to the Bay of Bengal. Because the Bay of Bengal is really an important port during the Silk Road in terms of the maritime trade. So this is the Bay of Bengal. And here we're in India and uh, in Delhi, where then we went to the Red Fort. And again, for our designer, it was important for him to see another scale using a sandstone. And then here, you can see just the scale. So for him, he was, I'm taking different pictures. He's taking different pictures in terms of detail and material for our gallery. And then we went up to Agra, and he's actually there with a, a 
purple shirt, that's Jack. And then you go through this port and you see this. So, as you can see for us, I thought this was the most beautiful place in the world. And I was just meeting with a professor of Rice of history and we were talking about this, uh, the Taj Mahal, how she was saying all the inscriptions on the wall are uh, from Shah Jahan talking about paradise, how he created this place as a paradise of garden. And then here you can see. And then across the river, we went to the port. You can see across. And then I have, we have a very good relationship with the Maharaja of Jaipur because in 2004, we invited them to play polo in Houston. So I was invited in 2006 and 2008 to play Holi with the Maharaja. So this is at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then by noon... <laughs> Can you imagine me explaining this photograph to our board of trustees? <laughs> Crown Prince and the Princess, and this is the Maharaja of Java. So they're very excited about our project here, uh, that it's developed. And then the way we will uh, frame our Hindu and Buddhist sculptures is about this mantra, and it's about this sound, it comes from this ancient sound. So this will be something you can also see, we will have a multimedia area, and I'm also interested to have a small library on one side, where you will have the ancient books the Vedas, uh, Anishad. So in this gallery, when you walk in, you see the beautiful sculpture, you're able to see contemporary pieces, but also at the same time, able to learn also at different levels, depending on how you want to experience the gallery. And then this idea of yantra, where everything, this geometric pattern is based from, so for Buddhism and uh, Hinduism, and also this murti, the sculpture, but uh, currently, our gallery, uh, you can see it's raw space right now with the ceiling, the wall, the floor. So right now we're now discussing the material, the color, and the configuration of the gallery. And uh, this is just to show you an idea of where we're trying to go. Where sandstone perhaps, but then the columns and the sculptures with the pedestal. And this kind of space, where it's really India, but then at the same time, it's not. So I hope uh, just to show you the gallery in May 15, and thank you so much for coming. You know, we could think of various ways, perhaps there would be a grand cultural performance, uh, you know, by inviting uh, a classical dance troupe or something similar, you know, a, a, a really a first rate uh, cultural performance uh, representing or showcasing uh, some some sort of uh, art and cultural form of India, of course, it's so diverse, you can't have everything uh, all together. But that's something we will seriously pursue and I would remain in touch with the Board of Trustees and uh, with uh, Director Marzio and his team on that. So once again, thank you very much for for inviting me and for, for giving me the floor uh, and I wish you all the best in this endeavor. Thanks a lot.